Good morning, you lovely lot. So, um, we're on the road nice and early today, heading up to Cork City, finally, because our travel plans changed a little bit. As you know, we now have a little kitten on board. It went to the vet yesterday. Yesterday was a mad day, wasn't it? Because <laughs> the van was in the garage having... Um, a wheel bearing van. Basically, I snapped my my braking bar trying to do it myself so I had to get a garage to do it. Charge a good rate, it's 150 euro. It's nothing really is it's it? Yeah really. yeah it's really yeah, reasonable. Uh, we we're getting a bit anxious it wouldn't be done. Yeah. <laughs> By four o'clock we were like where's the van? But um yeah. yeah it's like, really really normal to dump kittens this time of year. The vet that we took it to didn't bat an eyelid. She was like there's loads of it. Um, it sounds like it's seasonal, so it's, yeah. all, all, of, all of the this time of year when when, when there's loads of kittens and stuff being born, um, the, all of the shelters are full. So it just sounds like it's a seasonal thing. So the guy said he would take it, take the kitten, but he didn't really have any. He didn't have any room. Yeah. Um, and the pound keep for ten days, and yeah. then they're euthanized. So we were sort of in two minds. We didn't really particularly we don't really want, want to a have cat. a cat. It wasn't on our list, it, was it? No. So, so I mean, the main thing is is the dog and the baby. Yeah. The baby loves the cat, but she, teaching a toddler to love a cat gently is the yeah. challenge. And, and then the baby the wants the dog up. So then you've got the dog and the baby both wanting to sniff the cat. And so it's just quite hard work. It is fact, quite hard work. But I think that we're its best chance that it's got. Another Tesco's. Yeah, we love a Tesco's car park, it seems. Yeah, no parking limits on it, which is good. The gate um, at the front obviously gets locked, so we're uh, just... At night. But yeah, at night. Yeah. It's really nice and shady, yeah. so the dog and the cat. 20 minute walk from um, Cork City Centre. Nice and cool. So, off we go. So, there's no parking restrictions on it either, so... So in Weatherspoons in Hexham in Northumberland, you can get, you can get a 99p pint. Was it 99p 
glass of wine as well. Yeah, there was a 99p glass of wine. We were shot dirt cheap. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't oh, believe it. Shops there, we've been. Virus Cancer Society. Thanks. It's like it's really got some color. Some color. Like, it's lively and there's it's modern lively activity. It's multicultural. Like, a lot of rural islands. There's a lot of colour, there's a lot of colour. Well, it's quite it's a colourful place in general though. It? It, well, the, the, the houses are painted colour. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah. 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 It's noisy, I've got some buskers. Yeah, some buskers, yeah. Oh, here's a busker. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll go and have a look, yeah. Oh yeah, it's got to be the dark green, definitely. That's lovely. Or not a book, good work for you, Tim. visiting the English market we headed towards the Docklands. Kennedy Quay is still an active quay. There are two ships here today, 
One is a Greek transport ship carrying fertiliser for Ireland's massive farming industry. The next is one of Ireland's warships. This one is a Samuel Beckett. It is an offshore patrol vessel and was commissioned in 2014. It was built especially for the Irish Navy. It was built in Appledore, Devon, England. It's one of four ships to be built by Babcock Marine. Each ship has its own mascot. The Samuel Beckett has the mascot of a Star Wars character. The mascot is Yoda and he's holding a lightsaber with the colours of the Irish flag. Okay. So, special for the Irish Army? Yeah, maybe. What's the um, what you all about? So, uh, I'm back to watch the video. Back to the back being filmed in Skellig Michael off the coast right. of Kerry. Um, this ship was used as part of the Kerry like, people, right? Security, that kind of crack. Okay. So, when they needed a logo, they figured like, yo, it's from Star Wars, it. they just kind of gave uh, an Irish Navy sailor hat and an Irish lightsaber. Oh, so, that's basically the crack there. So he's only on this ship, but then the other ones have their own mascots. Oh, so, so each ship's got its own mascot. Yeah, exactly. Right. The other four ships are identical to this one, but uh, yeah, they all have different mascots. Do you think Ireland should join NATO? Um, I can't comment. Sorry, I can't comment on politics. Why do you think? The marina market has been operating without planning permission since it opened in 2020. So technically, it's an illegal market. It is, however, already Cork's largest indoor and outdoor market and a bustling addition to the underutilised central docklands of Cork. So it's here every... So we just stopped for a little break in this from another like market which has got a really like chilled out relaxed vibes indoors really nice and lights and things and um it's a lot less well it's, it's, it's still like really busy but it's kind of like just it's chilled it's right down the end of the key and i think it's yeah marina market it's called and um looks like it's a bit of an art center yeah. and stuff like that. we're just stopping up a snack and a drink and checking out some um park night spots um, I think we found one not far from here that's got a dog walk and um, it's about a 30 minute walk to town it said something like that anyway we're yeah. going to check that out because uh, it's sort of got to that time in the day it's about two o'clock and we're sort of thinking about the dog's going to need a walk kitten's going to need some, some love, love and attention and we're going to need <laughs> um, to chill out Relax, yeah, and we're actually at the moment parked um, in the Tesco, so we can get some supplies there um, for dinner, down. and then have a pretty chilled out evening. We're going to have a look around on Google and see if there's some museums or something that we want to really go and have a look out. The warship, yeah, that was awesome. Some of the that we've seen walking down. It was like thriving, busy, wasn't it? Oh, it's, it's thriving. But um, yeah, we even spoke to one of the. the the Navy, the Navy personnel. And, um, well, they'll probably know that because they've probably seen that clip. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if the sound if comes the sound out, all right. Our microphones haven't arrived yet. We've ordered some, yeah, it's some really microphones. Impressive. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And um, this seems like a really nice place. It's open every day, yeah. apparently. It seems really nice. I like, to come down and grab a coffee with a friend or something at the weekend. It's really nice. Yeah, if I lived there, I'd probably come yeah, down there nice weekends. Yeah, like, it's just really it's relaxed. It's a nice place to walk around and stop and have some food. A few little market stalls and things. Yeah, and well, lots and lots food of food. And, yeah. and the bathrooms are really cool. I just took the baby in there to change her. They're like amazing good people and stuff. In fact, I'll go and show you. <laughs> Where are you going? You doing some shopping?
Hello. Gonna have a little sit down. Gonna have a rest. We've just gotta find a nice spot. There's loads of campers down there, so let's just head down there. Yeah, and I reckon we'll reverse with some up here. Oh wow, this is a lovely spot. Should we have that bit? Yeah. We just got to the park up and it's ideal, even better than it looked <laughs> on maps. Um, we're right down by the river and then there's a greenway walk that way so we can walk the dog. And um, there's a load of other campers here as well. So it looks like it's camper friendly. It's also free. <laughs> um, We've got some supplies and we're going to cook some dinner and take the dog for a walk.